Now, what about people that, okay, that holler at you? When it comes to people hollering at you through direct messages, what percentage would you say is female? What would percentage would you say is male? Hollering as in like, hey, what's up, baby? Yeah. Shit. Trying to hit on you. Trying well, to... let's just say 95% male and like 5% female. And then, okay, f- on people that hitting, people that hit on you, what about people that hit on you with a name? Um, mm, like rappers and shit? Yeah, okay, so you got athletes, you got musicians, uh-huh. and then you got, I guess, another category for another type of celebrity. Yeah. What do you notice of those type of people that hit on you? Well, if you could put a percentage on that, what would you say? A percent of, like, famous people trying to mean? Yeah. I mean, out of, let's see. The people that hit... The people, I mean, put it like this. The famous people that do hit on you, that's what I want a percentage of. How many of them are athletes? How many of them are... Oh, percentage-wise. Oh, yeah. wow. Okay. Hmm. Well, let's say... Athletes, musicians... I would say celebrity. it's mostly athletes. Right behind that is musicians. Right behind that is college athletes. <laughs> right behind that is up and coming uh, artists. Mm, fuck, I mean, it's so many, I don't know. But I mean, I've had the biggest of the biggest, um, you know, rappers and artists and stuff like that try to hit me up. And I'm like, sometimes I'm flattered. I mean, honestly, I'm flattered every time. I'm so flattered. And I'm impressed, because I'm like, wow, you know, that's kind of cool. But I'm the type of person that I've dated, uh, dated a celebrity before, and it was just, the life was too crazy for me. So I know that me dating a celebrity is not going to work. Even me dating an athlete is not going to work. So I, as soon as they hit me up, I will be flattered. In my head, I'll be like, oh, so cute, right? But then I'm like, no, 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 that's good. Don't fucking do it. Don't do it. So then I'm like, I'm so ecstatic that you um, pursued me. Da, da, da. <laughs> and I really like your music. And I would love to work with you on a music video or something else that has to do with work. But I refuse to be with you that way. I hope you respect me and I respect you and hope to see you soon. And I leave it at that. And sometimes they don't write back. Sometimes they say, oh wow, that's some real shit. Um, whatever. But I just know me. I'm too much of a bitch to fucking deal with that groupy shit. I can't do it. Now, you don't have to name names, but you said you talked about being flattered. Uh, so have there been people that you personally liked or, or had a feelings about, you know, just as, I don't want to say being a fan of, but there are certain, yeah, no, you can say it, there's certain fan, celebrities yeah. and certain people that you have an eye on and you have an eye yeah. for. Have you been contacted by a celebrity that you had an eye on previously yes. before? And has that surprised you? Yeah, I've been, I've been contacted, like I said, I've been contacted by so many celebrities that, I mean, of course, I would never say names. I'm not the type of person. <laughs> but I've been shocked my damn self. And I'm like, how does this person even know who I am? You know, it, it's crazy. Like I said, I was in magazines throughout U.S. for years, so a lot of celebrities knew who I was because of that. And then on top of that, like, you know, Instagram is worldwide, so you're known worldwide. But there were certain celebrities that I'd be like, oh, my God, how does he even know who I am? Or how I didn't even know that person knew who I was. Even women. There's, there's like, women in the industry that know who the fuck I am. And I'm like, you know who I am? It's shocking, right? So, yes, and it's very tempting because it's almost like you want to picture having this great relationship with this person because they seem so sweet and you're like, oh, man, me and this guy would be so perfect. But like I said, I've lived that life. I've tried it. And I know that it's going to be like that with everybody because it's their lifestyle. I have a fucking crazy ass lifestyle. Most guys can't fucking keep up with my shit. So I can't imagine keeping up with anybody else's shit and I don't want to. Now let's talk comments for a second. Mm-hmm. I know you say you don't really read into your comments when you have free time, which you don't have a lot of free time. You do browse them and see what's going on. But how do you deal with hateful comments when you do see them? Um, do you block the- them? Do you have a blocking policy? Yes. Okay. So back in the day, I used to be a crazy bitch. I was a type that if you even looked at me sideways, I will fucking punch you in the face. That's how I used to be. 
Remember when I talked about waitressing and stuff? I started transitioning. I started learning how to deal with people. After that, I started modeling. With modeling, you have to learn how to deal with a lot of haters, a lot of snakes, a lot of fucked up ass people. So that helped me a little bit more. I am mentally up here when it comes to modeling. I already expect the worst. I already expect people to hate. So whenever, whenever uh, I see you know ugly comments, I don't like to give these people attention because that's just giving them what they want. So most of the time, I just click on the name, click block, and then I go erase the comment. But like I said, out of all the thousands of comments, I don't have the time to do everybody. But whenever I do, I will block them because they don't deserve to be on my page. And also, they don't deserve um, a response from me because that's what they want. But the only time that I think that I w would really respond is whenever I post a picture of my child, which is not often because I don't share too, too much of my personal life because of this reason. There's so many times that I've posted like something about me and my kid to show people that I'm, I'm an actual real person. You know, I'm an actual mother. I have another life than just modeling. And some people appreciate it. And there's sometimes that I just want to like post my kid. You know, I just, I just want to. I mean, I'm proud of him. I want to show him off. But it's very hard to because just say out of almost 2 million people, of course you're going to have some haters out there. You're going to have people who are depressed, who are fucked up in the head, who are going through some shit in their own lives to where they want to be evil. And they say some really fucked up shit about a kid. And it's like, dude, really? It's a fucking kid. So those people, I can't lie. There are times that I will go back and talk shit to them back and forth. And then my fans, like my real fans, will get into it and they'll fucking attack that one person. And then there's sometimes that, let's just say I post a picture, right? Just say I'm in a thong, which usually I am, okay? And there's sometimes people will comment and say, you look like a slut. Um, what kind of example are you setting for women out here? Things like that. And I could get upset about it, but honestly, I don't blame them sometimes for thinking these things. I mean, if I was an outsider looking in, if I was a regular person with a nine to five, I always wore normal clothes. I didn't travel the world. And I was very in a clothes box. I probably would think the same thing. And so I respect their opinions. And sometimes I'll write back to them and I'll say, you know what, I respect your opinion. And thank you for sharing that. And this is why I do this, or this is why I think this, or this is why I wrote this. And I explain it to them, and guess what? I would say 90% of the time, they write back and say, wow, I didn't expect you to write back to me, and now that you wrote back and explained yourself, I respect you 100 times more. So, and I don't do it for their respect, I do it because it's just, I want to explain to them how I feel or what I think, and then, you know, we kind of come to our terms. Okay, now, the reality of that is that celebrities and people with a large following choose not to go out with normal people. They will always choose to go out with other celebrities because they can get them to where they want to go. You will never see a celebrity or someone with a large following going out with a normal, average day person. It's just, that is the unfortunate fact of it. They will say, oh yeah, I'd want to go out with them. But the gun instinct tells them no, bull, because that's all you see them with. That's all you see them with is celebrities and well-known people. You only see them with photographers. You'll never see them going out with a regular individual. You only see them going out, like even dinner. You can't, you can't, you breakfast, lunch, or dinner. You won't see them going out with any normal person. You will only see them going out with a photographer or a celebrity. That's the unfortunate... <coughs> that's the unfortunate reality of it. Uh, you, it's... And they choose to have their schedule that busy. So that way they don't have time for a regular person. They will only choose the time for a photographer, for a business person, for someone they can have a connection with. So now you got them, oh, I want to go out with this guy, he sounds really sweet. Yeah, but you won't, 
you won't take a time out for them because that isn't who you want to be. You say, yeah, you have a crazy lifestyle. You choose that crazy lifestyle because of what it gives you. If you chose a normal, everyday person and be humble about it, you would actually know what life is really about. Now, if you want to talk about people who want wanting attention, let's just put it this way. In today's day and age, the only way you can actually get attention is to do something to someone to make them pay attention to you. Why do you think they had Guy Fawkes Day over in England? Because the government didn't pay attention. So one guy blew up the whole entire parliament. Now with me, what I do is in order to gain the respect of acknowledgement, I will do something that you don't, uh, you just blatantly don't want to see and don't want to hear. So you're going to label me the crazy person. So I will bring things public domain, but according to some of their mentality, according to you, I'm looking for attention. So you won't give that to me. But the punchline is, you'll always want the attention. But when it comes down to me getting the respect, you think I'm nuts. Why is that? Now, when it comes to her talking to her fans, she blatantly admits that she uses the block button regularly. Let me tell you something. The block button is the most immature way of dealing with something. I can see if you're using the block button. If you are dealing with a total tyrant, okay, you're talking, you, you got this idiot who wants to do nothing but arguing. I can totally see that. But don't block me because I am questioning your integrity. I'm questioning what you are saying compared to what you do. Don't block me if I'm giving you constructive criticism while your ego is being massaged by someone who's giving you compliments. Don't be like, uh, what's her name? Jordan Carver, who disables everyone from writing comments if oh, she doesn't like what they have to say. Oh, my God. Don't sit there and tell me that, well, you just, you, you, you just don't have time. You just don't have time, really? Yeah, okay. Meantime, you always have time for Instagram, and you always have time for business people, and you always have time for a photographer. As far as your kid, again, I would never, knowing the way anti-social media is, I would never put my child on there. No way. You couldn't pay me enough. You couldn't even pay me the national deficit to put a child on anti-social media. Okay, because there are circumstances where, let's just put it this way. In reality, I would not be a bit surprised if Jessica Kylie actually put her son on Instagram, someone took it and put it on a child pornography site. You may think that's totally crazy and nuts. It is a reality. You don't know where that picture is going, if it actually exists. I highly doubt that Jessica is, in fact, a mother. Knowing that she already has admitted that she intentionally chooses a such a busy schedule, I mean, come on already. You, you, you just don't want to take time to talk to people who want to talk to you. That's just your mentality. You just don't want to. You just you, you don't have time for it. No, no, no. Just leave me alone. You don't. Come on already. If you want the respect, give it. Uh, when it comes to her going out, I have nothing against someone who needs the social hour. You need to unwind. You do your whole thing. I totally, I'm totally for it. But don't sit here and tell me, you just don't have time. You just don't have time. But you have time for celebrities. Come on already. You notice that she talks as if she never has time to talk to her fans. She, has more, she doesn't want to have anything to do with them. Doesn't want to have anything to do with her direct messages. Doesn't want to have anything to do with her, her email. Doesn't want to have, she just doesn't have time for it.
but she has time to do selfies and go on social anti social media and go out with photographers and her celebrity friends. Don't you find that coincidental? She talks about a girl emailing her and she says, Well I didn't want I didn't know I didn't think you'd answer me and I didn't anticipate it, but considering you did answer me and tell me what you thought, I respect you ten times more. Okay, now considering she answers that, but doesn't answer a regular email. That makes me, in general, that makes me respect her ten times less, considering she's willing to treat me like dirt. So, in other words, I don't care how, how famous you are, honey. If you, don't, if you treat me like dirt, you can't eat with me. Don't blame me. Now, what about Snapchat? How crazy is your Snapchat? You know, I really don't care for Snapchat that much. Like I said, you know, I'm, I'm so busy and then dealing with my Instagrams, because I have a few Instagrams, this takes a lot of my time. The only time I like to do snaps is if I'm out of town and I'm like just joking around acting stupid, or um, if I'm hosting that night and it's like, you want to make a movie, you know, say if I'm in a strip club, I'm like, ah, ass, titties, ah, drink it, you know? Because it's fun, because the next day you wake up with a hangover and you're like, fuck, what happened last night? <laughs> and then, let me check my fucking snap. And you're like, damn, I can't believe I fucking posted that. Oh, shit, I shouldn't have posted that. You know, but it's funny. That's why I like snap, because it's like a whole fucking story of your life in that one fucking day. It's amazing. I like that. But the thing that I hate about snap is like, you can't tell how many followers you have. You can see how many views you have, yes, which is cool, but you don't see how many followers, I guess, and, you know, whatever. I don't, I, I don't even check my DMs at all, because usually dick pics. <laughs> so I just, I never check my DMs, I don't give a shit. And, but I, I always save all my, my stories, because they're funny to look at later. Now she talks about going out again, okay? If she doesn't have time, why is she doing pictures on Snapchat if she doesn't have time? 